about 700 degree heat correct in Chapel Hill North Carolina <laughs> my alma mater loved being there and that was the last time we had Richard on with the club a set of two knife sharpeners when they sold out completely that night good to have you back my friend Dave always nice a pleasure to see being you here. it's good to have you back now Richard you need to know is not only an accomplished chef but he is also a busy husband and father you have three little ones at home that's correct lots of cooking going on between you and that's your wife right. at your house so this is going to be something that is really important to anyone who cooks because knives are an essential tool in our kitchen but keeping them sharp can sometimes be difficult you know david i said it when we were in chapel hill and all my years in the business this is the most safe and effective knife sharpener i've ever used first of all safety patented suction cup technology here i'm going to show you something when we put this on a flat smooth surface watch what happens okay i'm going to put this down there's a little clasp here when you engage this clasp right here when I push this down that now is on this table secure so now you cannot move it you can see we can move this entire <laughs> table I mean, like with my this. water cup before it sloshes over and while that's important is because now you don't have to hold the knife sharpener in your hand you take your hand out of harm's way so now instead of putting your your hand near the knife how about one-handed operation and here's the other thing tungsten carbide I want you to see something this is harder than the steel on your knife okay so when you're pulling the knife through the sharpener you're actually breaking down the edge and you're getting that perfect 20 degree angle so here's a knife and you talked about knives ha not having a lifespan this is a knife from one of my restaurants almost 20 years old okay three passes through the clever take okay. a look at this we're gonna go to a, a tomato okay I want to see how this knife operates I'm just gonna drag this through a, a beautiful ripe tomato look at these perfect perfect slices this knife is as sharp as the day it was purchased that's crazy now i will tell you you get two of these you get a red one and you get a blue one i can also draw your attention to easy pay tonight how do you feel about wow four easy payments of five dollars and 94 cents <laughs> we have never before had this item on four easy payments and i can pretty confidently tell you it'll be a long time before you see it again on four easy payments <laughs> it's all part of our easy pay special event tonight every item between now and 11:59 p.m. eastern time will be on four pay in any category on qvc and qvc.com now can you also use this on serrated knives? Glad you asked. Here's a serrated knife. So many sharpeners, they can only do straight edge, but with a Cleva, no worries. Take your serrated blades. Now, again, you know, so many knives, people get them brand new. They're so excited. They use them for a month or two. Next thing you know, they're dull. But what we've done now is we've broken down the metal. We've restored that factory edge. So it's going to be razor sharp, just like the day you took it out of the box, David. And again, straight edge, straight edge and serrated. But here's mm. the other thing, okay? So we talked about safety. We talk about so many people trying to sharpen their knives. So this is that classic steel that people get with their knives, right? So there's a couple things. First of all, so you have to be a chef and get the right angle, but also notice when you sharpen with a steel, you're pulling a knife down towards your hands. So that's extremely dangerous. In fact, I remember that story you told me about your mother cutting yeah, her hand. Yeah, she had an old uh, a knife sharpener she held in her hand and she sliced uh, right in between yep. her index and thumb and we had to visit the hospital that right. night. Well, with yeah. Clever, you don't have to worry about it. Here's what I'm going to do, though. So many people use this, and they wind up dulling the knives because they don't get the right angle. So we're going to intentionally dull this knife. I'm going to actually run it the wrong way. Look at this. I'm actually taking the edge off this knife. So with about five swipes, this is a useless knife. So we're going to try to cut something to show you, OK? How about a sponge, OK? I'm going to take this to a piece of sponge. And now I want you to see something. I'm bearing down on the sponge, right? Now, this is what makes a knife dangerous, David, applying pressure to the knife, and you slip. Okay, so this white knife is dull. Let's go back to the clever. Now okay. we're gonna pull it through about six or eight times, okay? And again, you're gonna notice when you're pulling the knife, you're gonna see little metal shavings. That's breaking down the metal, restoring the edge, and as you pull it, you start to feel it get a little easier and easier. And again, depending on how dull the knife is, you're gonna see when you're back to that factory edge, I want you to see something. Now that's this sponge, the same knife that I couldn't cut a second ago. Okay, take a look at this. Look at this, it goes right through it. Right through it, no problems, perfectly cut. And again, we're not cutting sponges in the kitchen, are we, David? We're cutting things like tomato. Look at this knife. And interestingly, a tomato is one of the most difficult things to slice. Why? When, uh, when Mother Nature made the tomato, when the good Lord <laughs> made the tomato, he made this tomato to be protected on the outside by giving it a tough That's outside right. skin. But knowing full well we would like that delicious, juicy flesh of the tomato in our sauces and yep. sandwiches and burgers, that's very, very tender. So the trick is to have a knife sharp enough to get through the outside without tearing up the inside. Exactly, without crushing the item, right? Correct. And, then, and again, so many different kinds of knives. In fact, we went, I went to try to find probably the cheapest, oldest knife I could, okay? And this goes to how knives can have a, a lifetime in your kitchen if you have the sharpener. This is an old and expensive knife. I want to tell you, any knife, so whether it's expensive 
or inexpensive, whether it's old or new. A few simple passes with the Cleva, and anybody, not professional chef, anybody can restore that factory edge. Now, this is really important, David, if you're using your Cleva at home, be certain to clean it after you use it because there's going to be little metal shavings because you're literally breaking down the metal. So you don't want you want to wash it. But then again, I took this old knife. We're going to go back to that tomato. I just love to take a knife this old, this rickety, and look at this, how thin these slices are. David, look, I got a slice in here that's literally paper thin. I mean, you can almost read the newspaper through it. And and that's with a knife that probably was, you know, $3.99, it's 20 years old because that edge has been restored. It's crazy. Don't miss out on this. You're getting two of these. Remember, you get a red and you get a blue one. These have a very powerful suction cup to them. So when I go ahead and engage both of these suction cups, these are now stuck to the table. Hold on to anything that might spill. It. I'm gonna hold. Look at what I'm doing here. I'm rocking the table by holding on to these. They're not coming loose. No, they're not. Nope. These are gonna stay in place. And the reason that's important, you're dealing with a knife and you don't want it to slip. This is gonna be so important. 7,500 of these now ordered for the day in this show, 3,000 wow. now gone, 1,200 people on the phone lines. We, uh, I, at least five times a week on my Facebook page, David, when are the Clever Knife Sharpeners coming back? They sold out when you had them on the air in August. When are they coming back? Yep. I need to get a set of these for a gift. I need these for my own kitchen. Maybe you got a vacation home. If you do, great, invite us. We'll come visit. What I will tell you is that you want to grab these now while you can. This is a very popular item, and we will continue to make this available should it sell out. But I can tell you with great confidence, it may be a very long time before you see four payments again. This is four payments on a $23 item. Come on. It just doesn't happen. So when it's happening as it is tonight, you want to take advantage of it. A lot of fix, uh, people are wondering if they can do just what you're showing us here, Richard. Yep. This is a food processing blade. That's right. Anything that has a blade in your kitchen is going to dull at overuse. Why not restore that edge on your processor to that factory razor sharp edge? So when you're processing, when you're chopping in the kitchen, you get those same results you got the day you bought it. And with Even you your that. coated knives, That's like right. this one, what they call a non-stick knife, That's right. you're going to be able to sharpen. Now, I will tell you, if anyone t sells you a knife and says that it never needs to be sharpened, no. I have a bridge no. in Brooklyn you might no. be interested in. That's... So it's important to understand and know that this is going to be the kind of tool that you can use with any knife, because every knife at some point in its lifespan will need to be sharpened. But here's the thing. A knife shouldn't have to have a lifespan. Nope. The reason we stop using knives is because they come dull. They become dull. And then they go in the drawer, or what I call the, uh, the drawer of forgotten knives. It's, it's a great... This point. is a way for you to get those old knives out and breathe new life into them. It again. is. And again, I went back, while you were saying that, I went back to my knife from almost 20 years ago in my restaurant. Now I've restored the factory edge, but take a look. Now I go, this is the way a knife should operate. I'm going to watch you gentle rocking motion. Watch how perfect these cuts are each and every time, David. That's because the, the edge of this knife is the way it's supposed to be, ultra sharp. You don't have to use pressure. The knife does the work. And with Cleva, you're able to restore that factory edge with a matter of four to six swipes. Look how wonderful this knife is. It's an old, not even an expensive knife, and it's like it's brand new. Well, this is what's amazing. I will tell you now, we've taken orders for 10,000 orders for the day. Wow. In this show, 5,500 are gone, and 1,800 people are on the phone lines. Please don't miss out on this. We continue to be very, very busy, and everyone's excited about this opportunity. Don't miss out on it tonight. Let's go to our phone lines, welcoming what? Jane in Arizona. Hi, Jane. David, how are you? Doing very well. How are you tonight, my dear? Great, great. Excellent. Richard Roman and I would love to know, what do you think about the Cleva knife sharpeners? Well, I have probably a half a dozen little gizmo type sharpeners that I've got in various places and they do not work. Mm -hmm. And I got a whole bunch of dull knives and someone that used knife in his business every day told me that a sharp knife goes where you want it to. It's the dull knife that cuts you. Well, it's true. Because it goes off where you don't want it to. Exactly. And, and so I just decided I got to have some of these sharpeners. Well, these are perfect. And you know, we haven't had them on the air since August when they sold out the last time. So it took us a little while to get these back in stock, but I'm so glad you got your set tonight. What did you think of that Easy Pay tonight, Jane? Oh, I love Easy Pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not alone there. We all do. And it's awfully nice when we can have it tonight on an item like this one. I know you're going to enjoy these, Jane. And imagine now getting all those knives in your kitchen that are just not quite up to the challenge anymore and breathing new life into them. I can't wait. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> and think about all the money you save by not going out and buying new knives. 
I know, I know. I, I have so many knives, and I'm always grabbing this one or that one and, and, and lay it down and put it in the drawer, and, and you know, it's, it's a waste. Well, you and know what, I think so we, I, all, we all have our favorite knife in the kitchen, but let that knife get dull, and then yep. we're just caught between a rock and a hard place, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, I'm so tickled. Not only tickled. that, David, I can't watch your show without buying something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm flattered first that you're watching, and thank you very, very much for that. And if we can help you out in the kitchen, then that's just the cherry on the sundae. Oh, you always do. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. That gratifies me more than you know. I hope you'll stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming up in the next hour with Dan Wheeler and a lot of great shopping as we head into Thursday, okay? Uh, I'm still watching. Thank you so much for that. You take good care, Jane. Thank you, Thank Jane. Thank you. You too, guys. Bye -bye. Thanks, sweetie. Bye-bye. 12,000 ordered wow. for the day, oh, wow. 8,000 in this show. Okay, so let's go back to that demonstration before. Again, most people have a steel. They struggle not only sharpening, but they actually are pulling a knife toward their hand. This is dangerous, but they also wind up dulling the knife because they don't get that exact angle. So we're going to dull this knife intentionally. I'm going to run it the wrong way across the steel, okay? So we're taking the edge off, and this is what happens to a lot of people's knives. They don't know how to sharpen it, so they go to use in the kitchen. I'm going to try to cut a sponge with this now knife. Now we're going to get a nice close-up. Okay, okay, good. So this is a knife, and then you can see, look, David, I am pushing down on this. Okay, this is what makes a knife dangerous. It's dull, you're using pressure. So the same knife, we're gonna take it to the Cleva. And we're gonna pull it through about six to eight times. It all depends how dull your knife is. There's no set number, but you'll really start to get the hang it. You start to feel it, and you can feel it breaking the edge down, replacing that factory edge. You see these little metal shavings that are oh, coming off. Oh, I can see off. them coming off, yeah. And that means it's restoring the edge. So now that knife that I couldn't cut the sponge, let's go back to it, okay? Let's we're gonna take a nice close up. Let's take a look at this. Here this we is are. what, watch this, look at this. In one quick pass perfect razor cut, okay? And that's because now- It didn't rip and tear the sponge. Didn't rip and tear, and that's because the edge now is back to that 20 degree angle. And again, this is the important thing. Everybody should be able to have a professionally sharpened knife in their kitchen, but so many people struggle with it. And why sure. I love Kleba, one-handed operation, again, taking things like old restaurant knives from my restaurant. I used to remember in the kitchen, there was always one or two people that could really sharpen knives well. Even good chefs struggle getting that right edge. Well, guess what? I know how to use a steel, David. I don't want to. I want to use the Kleba because that easy, I've taken an it's old knife. It's foolproof. It's foolproof. So I go back to use it in the kitchen. Look at these slices. These are like a razor's edge. It's as if... I put, open this out of a box from a $100 knife, and this is an old $20 knife. Look at these perfect slices. That edge is as perfect as it was the day it was opened out of the box. Perfectly well, sharp. 14,000 ordered wow. for the day, and in this show, wow. 9,500. Wow. This easy pay is only good until 11.59 p.m. Eastern time tonight. So let me encourage you to grab yours now and lots and lots of people on the phone lines. Mr. Roman, it's always a pleasure, sir. David, pleasure. Nice Good to have see you back. You. Take care. All right, be well, and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. And let's come over here. Please don't have cheese. Is there some cheese on the floor?